Lance Batchelor, being a broadcaster on a local radio station and a professional bodybuilder, was convinced that size and strength would determine the outcome of a fight of this kind, and that skill had little or nothing to do with it. Believing this, he allowed himself to be prodded by his friends into publicly announcing a challenge to Pedro on the airwaves. Pedro, sight unseen and without hesitation, accepted. Being a professional referee, I explained to Pedro and Lance that this is a no-rules fight. However, there would be no eye gouging or biting, and that I would stop the fight if I felt either opponent was in danger of permanent injury. Pedro immediately begins throwing strategically placed sidekicks into Lance's left knee. These kicks are designed to distract Lance from guarding his upper body and head, leaving a huge opening for attack. As you can see, the effectiveness of the kicks have allowed Pedro to squarely land a right jab and a left cross to Lance's exposed nose and jaw, leaving Lance cut and his nose bleeding. Here, a left hook opens up a cut under Lance's right eye. Another shot of the same. It's obvious the bodybuilder is not prepared to defend himself against such a skillful attack. In a display of frustration, Lance charges Pedro, tackling him and taking the fight to the ground, which is where the jiu-jitsu man is most at home. Even with Lance's massive size and weight advantage and his body coated with Vaseline, Pedro's skill in jiu-jitsu allows him to flip the former Mr. Utah and dictate the pace of the fight. Desperately trying to separate himself from Pedro's grasp, Lance's futile blows have no effect against Pedro's maneuvers. Pedro's jiu-jitsu tactics include various flips and other effective foot techniques that are designed to make his adversary expend energy and wear himself down. Again, the rolling is caused by the unbalancing efforts of the jiu-jitsu man, demonstrating his effortless ability to keep control. As the clinch is released, Lance throws four punches, none of which connect with their intended targets. These are answered back by two solid connecting blows from Pedro. Lance's reaction is to extend his arm, trying to block any further onslaught.
With the arm lock in perfect position and Lance losing his balance as he topples to the ground, he taps out on Pedro's leg. Pedro shows great mercy by releasing Lance's arm just before it reaches its breaking point. At this point, I choose to stop the fight so that no further injury will be suffered by Lance. As evident by the blood on Pedro's knee, Lance sustained significant injuries, while Pedro showed little, if any, signs of physical combat. So did size and strength prevail over the skill of jiu-jitsu? You be the judge.